Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Adobe Color CC. It's such a good tool to create color palettes and I've been using it a lot more often these days and you can just create some awesome libraries and create your own and it's really gonna benefit you in creating cool projects. So the first thing you, you wanna do is just type in Adobe Color CC in Google. You're also gonna need a Creative Cloud um, subscription to be able to use this, um, which is well worth it um, because it's just part of it, so it's really good. So the first thing is once you go into it, you've got three tabs, you've got create, explore, and my themes. So the first one create, you can see you've got just this color wheel and you've got your color rules on the left here. So I can close that if I want, but you can see you got all the list here. So you can go on monochromatic, you've got triad, complementary, compound. And once you click on it, it just shifts the these parameters here by itself. You've got shades and you've got custom. And what we can do is I can click on each of these colors and customize it myself. So I can actually physically drag this little wheel here, this little circle, and it's gonna go on the color. I can also scroll down a little bit and I can move these sliders, as you can see. So you've got the RGB sliders here, and this, this one is um, brightness. So you can see it just shifts to a darker tone. So that's pretty handy. I can do it for all of these colors and all shift it. And once I've done that, you know, I can even type in the hex code as well. So maybe this one, I want a certain hex code. And there you have it, it'll change it to that specific color. So this is pretty handy. Another cool trick you can do as well, is if you click this little camera icon on the top right, what it's gonna do is gonna get some colors from an image. So I'm gonna go to some of my image packs and yeah, I'll pick these autumn leaves. Cool, and you can see what it does, this is so awesome. It pretty much picks up some of the color pixels in the image and it creates a palette for you. So the cool thing is it's got these color moods on the left. So at the moment it's on colorful. So you can see it's got these bright yellows and oranges and, and, and a sort of a dark tone as well. But you can see if we go to bright, it's gonna start changing it and these circles are gonna shift. So if I go muted, we'll go to a more muted palette, deep, if you go dark, you can see it's adding a bit more of the, the gray bluish tones, or you can go to custom. And what I can actually do is drag these little circles onto whatever pixel. And you can see how the image, you can see it, it recognizes those little pixels. Obviously it's not super zoomed in, but you can see that. So you gotta drag it on the right position. It's gonna affect the overall tone of what color. So you can see if I just shift it a little bit, few centimeters, it's gonna change the color dramatically. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So I can play around, build my own my own color palettes here. And that's awesome. And then what you can do now, I can click save on the top left corner. And I can call it Autumn Vibes or whatever. And then I can pick a library where I can save it. I can create a new library if I want, or I can save it to my library. And I can add some, tang, uh, some tags, orange and browns, earthy tones maybe. And I can also publish this theme to explore, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. So if we can untick that, if we don't want it to publish, but we can publish that. So maybe I wanna publish it, call it Autumn Vibes and I'll press save. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna to save to your libraries. And what we can do then is go into Illustrator and see that palette. But before we do that, we're gonna to go to explore and explore some more themes. So now you can see it shifted from create to my themes. And now once you're on my themes, you can see all the ones you've published. I can also delete this. I can also download it as an ASC, which is just a swatch file that you can import into Illustrator itself. It shows you the date. Um, you can also view, when, um, view it, but I can also click edit copy and it'll take me to this menu again. And I can actually edit these. So maybe I want this a bit darker. I can just drag it a little bit. Maybe this is too, you know, red. Maybe I want to make it a bit more browny. You can edit those and then once again, you got, I can just save it again. And you can save another copy, which will add it, um, add an extra copy, or you can just save changes and it's gonna save it on top of, of what you already have. So if I just go up the top and click my themes, you can see that theme has been added. And you can see all these other themes that I have added as well in my themes. So you can go in here, I can edit, edit it, I can download it, delete it as you can see. So it's super handy, it's really cool and it's very flexible. So what I'm gonna do now is click on explore at the top 
And you can see we get all these color palettes. There's a, there's a, a lot that people upload, which is super cool. And it's always being fresh. So people are always uploading new palettes. If you go to the, t the left corner, you can see you got this drop down. And what we can do is we can search by appreciations, published themes, popular, most used. You can even search by time. So if you wanna look at all time or this month or this week, you'll see the most latest ones, which is pretty cool. So if I go to all time, I can see the, mo the most popular. So like you can see this palette here's got like 9K views, 9K appreciations, which is pretty cool. So you can see the most popular palettes. So this is cool if you wanna practice. Um, you've even got some vintage here. And you can scroll through, there's heaps of heaps of palettes. You know, there's so many. And if you want, want to save it, all you have to do is pretty much click save to library, as you can see here. So maybe I'll go on this one. I'll click save to library. There's the name select the library, press save, and that's gonna save it to my themes once again, and we're gonna have another new theme. So you can see that it's all sweet. If I click my themes, it's now there. So if I go back to explore, I can also change, so maybe I wanna to go to most used uh, all time, and it might show some different ones. If you wanna click on random, or show some random palettes. But be mindful, a lot of these palettes, like you might have to edit it because they're not really cohesive. And also it depends on if you're working with a brand, you gotta do specific colors and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. I can also click on my published themes, which you can see we published this one, this one today. And you can see, look, some of them got some views, but really it's just for others. To, it's just for fun, you know, so you can always go back to it. So cool. Once we've done that, we can go into Illustrator and I'm gonna go to my library. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the top left corner, click on window, and go to the middle and click libraries. So what's gonna happen now, you have to be logged in to Creative Cloud, or it won't show up. So you can see, I've clicked my library, and now you can see there's two palettes we've just added, these two. And all my other palettes that are in my themes are all here. So it will, or the good thing is with this, it automatically syncs those palettes. So if you're like on your laptop and you're on the another side of the world or you're at a different location, it's gonna save it into your, your Creative Cloud. So you can just log in Illustrator, Photoshop, and it's gonna be there, which is super handy. You don't have to have it like on your computer or on a hard drive, it will just be saved to your library. So the cool thing with this is I can add it to my swatches. So I'm just gonna quickly delete these swatches here because it's, I'm not gonna use those. And what I'm gonna do here is gonna right click on the theme and go add to swatches. Boom, just like that. Now I have all these swatches, I can go in and start to use them. You know, I can play around with them and you know, do whatever. So that's how easy it is. It makes it super helpful, super easy, super convenient. You know, I can duplicate it. I can copy it. I can move to a different library. I can rename or, or delete it. I can even share a link, um, which allows me to send to friends and stuff. So, and it'll take you to, see if you click share link, it'll, it'll take you to Adobe Creative Cloud, to the assets section. So you can see, you can see here, it's gonna save it to your assets and that, and then what you do, you can get that link and send it to a friend, or if you're working on a, a project and you need a specific palette, then you can do that. So you can see that, and then you can just, you know, get that link, etc. So yeah, that's how you do it. I can play around with these, add some more swatches. I can rename this one. Like, and then it just does that, super handy. So yeah, that's how you use Adobe Color CC. It's super useful, I recommend using it if you're a designer just starting out and it's gonna benefit you. Another cool trick is you can also change the grid format. So you can see you got the small view and if I click this, it's gonna make it bigger view. So you can see all the palettes there. I can also drag this out as well, so I can have all these colors. So if I'm working, if I'm testing different colors um, for different projects, that's pretty cool. I can also search a theme, so if I wanna search orange, it'll just pop up with the ones with the names in this little search bar. I can also see my other libraries. I can also create a new library from here as well. 
So if I want to create a new library, I'll call it to the 2018 palette. And then what I can do is start to add some new ones. And I, when I create it, I can select it. Another cool trick as well is that you can go and delete these libraries. So you can see maybe I just created this. I don't want it anymore. I can click on this little drop down, these four lines here. I can also go re rename the, the library that I named. I can also delete that here. So if I delete or ask me if I want to delete it, I press delete. So now that that library we just created is is deleted, which is pretty cool. So you don't want to have all these libraries. It gets messy. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. You know, jump on Adobe Color CC, start using it. It's super beneficial. Um, let me know in the comments below what you what, what tutorials you want to see. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can get some fresh design content every week.